So what is the pose library? Pose library is basically this thing where you can pose your character. You can save poses, right? bring him into them, you can slide them in slowly, and you can, yeah, so basically it's a pose library saving. You can also do for faces, and also the sliders, slide them in, blend between them, but you can only use a certain part of it. That's what it basically does. Uh, however, it doesn't do parameters, so be careful that. It does only positions and rotations and scales. Now, I'll be showing you how to do this with my rigged characters, which you can get at my shop, your project, uh, but you can use them on anything. And first I'll show you how to just set a pose and save it into the database. And then I'll show you how to actually use it in production because a lot of little got you and things that you should really be aware of before you start using this in a project. Need rigs. Ace Fight Studios has rigs. Okay, so first we need the pose library. Where do we find it? Character, manager, pose library route. Now you will probably just have this preference folder here. You won't have any other databases. I'll show you later how to do that. So in the preference folder, this is still in the documents, press the little folder button and you'll have a folder. How many folders poses? And then we have to press this button and then we get a category or a group, which is called, for example, body poses. And then we can press the plus button, the last one, <laughs> which will be the actual pose. But since we didn't select anything, we didn't actually make a pose. Let's delete this. And to start off, let's middle click on the controls here that we have. And let's add a little plus button. And we'll call this the neutral pose. And we can click this little button to get a screenshot. There. So now if we move the character's object somewhere, and then we click drag this, it'll go back to its neutral pose. So it's good. Halfway there. Now let's say we want to make a second pose. Let's move the hand down. Let's rotate it. Bring this shoulder down. Bring this shoulder. Oops. <laughs> bring this shoulder down. Maybe rotate him a little bit. Move the leg out. Rotate it. Where's this hand? Well, ah, just select the right objects. Okay, so there you go. Let's say this is our pose, right? Now, if we press the plus button, it's a new pose. And you'll see only this right hand is connected. So if we go back to this pose, then we go to this new pose, it'll only move the hand. So the thing is, when you save the pose, you have to middle click and select all the controls. So here I middle click on controls. And I select all of them. And then when I press a uh, new pose with a button, now you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff there. Just delete the old one. So call this pose one. And now we press the little button again and we have a screenshot. Now, once you have more, two poses, you can click this little button up here, which will open your thumbnail view. And now you can go this pose, that pose. Now, the thing is, when you save poses, uh, often, well, when I was doing it, I'd often forget to select all the objects and I'd end up having a whole bunch of poses which just didn't save. So that's really frustrating. So what I recommend doing is actually first making all the poses on keyframes, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have these keyframes here. Let's go keyframe frame 0, then go to frame 1, and let's have our other pose. Let's say pose where lips are like this and standing on one leg and... Here somewhere, that's tilted. And then we middle click. We actually turn on auto here. It's probably the easiest way to do it. And middle click on everything and keyframe it. And then you have your first, second pose, and then your third pose um, down. Or you can just reset them also. It's a bit easier. Keyframe them. And here we can have sitting down, arms here. So this is his pose and let's middle click again and it'll save because you're auto king. So now we have, and you can go through and decide how you like these poses. You can fix them up a bit. And then once you're ready with them, you can just go through them and you can add them. So we can middle click all the controls that are all selected. I'm going to go plus and call this one leg. Then we go to the next pose and we go plus and we can call this sit. And we can also pick a camera angle, which is the same for all of them. And we can go render, and then we can go one leg. Well, in this case, okay, maybe one, maybe it doesn't work as. And you can load poses in. And that's saved. And it just makes it easier when you have a lot of poses, especially if it's a face pose, then you just have one camera angle and you just scroll right through them and you go save, 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 save. So that's the process.
that I suggest. But we have this issue. Before you start doing that, um, the pose tool actually has a couple of ways of how it can apply these poses. Let's get our Marty rig and let's copy him over. Also delete all our keyframes here because we don't need any key. Fill these and turn off our auto key. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, when we use the pose library here, we have a couple of settings. For example, if we press pose one right now, see nothing happens because uh, nothing selected. So if we select all these controls here and go pose one, it'll select them, which is good. Now we can also select global, in which case everything in the scene will apply to whoever we have. Now, so this can be useful if you don't want to select it, if you have poses for specific characters. Uh, but the second thing is if we, for example, let's go back to our neutral pose. And let's say this char character isn't Marty. Right now, all his name is all named Marty. Let's middle click on this and let's use our naming tool. And let's say in this case, his name is Mark, not Marty. And wait, do it. Replace Marty with Mark. Mark? Replace name. See, now they're all marks. And now when we do this pose one thing, this one doesn't get affected even if it's selected. There is an option called, uh, you can selection hierarchy as well works. You can do namespace and match to end, but it also doesn't really work this way. The thing is what you want to do is, at least how I found it, is before you make the poses, because right now if you have a look at the po oops, in your pose library here, is you have the name Marty Rig in there. So what you should do is before you save the poses, select your rig, like select your controls, you click on them, and go to the naming tool. And what you want to do is you want to replace Marty or the net, whatever it is, Marty Rig in this case, underscore rig. Um, yeah, you can leave the column actually, okay. And just leave this blank and then replace the name. And now you'll have all your controllers with no character name. And this way, when you save them, so let's say we have character here. Move him, let's move his leg out. Head. And now when we middle click on his controls and we go make a new character, or is it new, sorry, make a new pose. Screenshot that guy. Now when we're in the pose library here and we're global and we have this set to match to end, you'll see it applies to both of them because it's just matching uh, the end of the controller name. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping there will be a script which will be able to just strip out all of this from here, but so far we don't have it. So when you're saving the poses, um, make sure you've denamed the character while you're saving the poses, it, especially if you're planning to use them on many characters and many projects. And just to show it again, so we have these Marty poses that are here. And these are the ones that I saved earlier. And if we go this global, match to end, and we go T pose. There you go. The reason the T pose only works on Marty. I guess that's something to fix. <laughs> so yeah, once you set these up, uh, you can then choose if you want to, for example, only apply it to one. So if we select this guy, uh, if we switch this to selection hierarchy, it will apply it to the hierarchy underneath that. For example, the, if the hands are not in the hierarchy. So if we select this, then we'll get this pose. Or we can obviously directly apply it to just selected objects, uh, which is sometimes useful for stuff like the face. If you want to, if you save like some poses and you want to apply it just to the eyes, you can apply a smile just to the eyes, not higher object. Uh, so that can be convenient. And yeah, here you want to match to end so that it applies to different characters, not just exactly the same ones. Now let's talk about databases. By default, uh, you only have this, gonna have this preference database, which is just saved in your documents, user folders, hard to find and easy to lose, especially if you move computers and it's not really anywhere near your project. So what you wanna do is you wanna make a new database. See, I have a Smarty Pose database. I have this ACE5 database with just stuff that I save from my everyday use. And you do this by going to your asset browser 
and you go databases and you go create new database. And if you click this little button here, you can see already databases that you have. So you go create new database and you pick a nice place and a folder to save this to. Somewhere where like next to your project or if you have a general folder, like I usually put it in my Dropbox so that I have access to it wherever I need. And I'm doing, making one for each character so I can load them up depending on which character I'm using. And also I can share it with other you know, users, clients, whatever it is. Um, I recommend watching the full video that I have about databases and go into more detail how to create them and how to use them. But this is what I do here. And then you'll have these, and then when you save the pose library, you might have to close this and open it up again. If you have a new database. And you just save your stuff into the right database and then you can move it around. It's just a folder with share with your teammates. And, and finally, when you're making stuff, see these little stars? Very important. You gotta press this save button. This is separate from your project. You save the poses separately. This is a database and you're saving it and you have to press the save button and then the stars go away. Very important. Do not forget it, which is another reason why I like having a file with my poses, like a C4D file where I saved all the poses using auto key. And that way, if I ever, this messes up, I can always just open that file and get my poses back. And remember, if you need any more characters, we have a bunch of stuff on ace5studios.com. All these characters are animation ready, rigs, have materials, they're fully customizable, and you can use them in your own commercial projects. We also have more stuff here, like some free rigs you can try out. We have character building kits. We have packs of simpler characters for infographics and infomercials and whatever it is you're making as kids. There's also some animals there, so go check it out. Won't be sorry.